Now, I'm coming to you live from Melbourne again tonight. I should have mentioned at the top of the program, and Victoria's health system is in crisis. The state's ambulance service has been forced to declare multiple code reds, with patients told to make their own way to hospital. Last Friday, up to 70 calls for assistance went unanswered, with triple zero operators forced to resort to pen and paper to allocate ambulances after a major technology failure. Georgie Crozier is Victoria's Shadow Health Minister and she joins me in the studio. Thanks for your time, Georgie. This uh, crisis has been developing for such a long period. Uh, it's still impacting on people who need assistance. And there are reports, though, that the government was warned about these problems years ago. Well, that's right, Chris, that the government was. Um, the computer-assisted dispatch system that went down last Thursday night that was just really put so much pressure on the system and 70 people waiting for to get through. Um, this was nothing new. The government had been warned about this years ago and did nothing. And as a result, we've got this ongoing crisis that is continuing to put Victorians' lives at risk and we're seeing it week in, week out. And it's just so many instances now that are really causing so much distress for so many Victorians. Yeah, now, um, we saw in the South Australian election earlier this year in March this problem with ramping at hospitals and problems getting ambulances. The Labor opposition then used that very effectively against a Liberal government. I imagine with the uh, election looming in November, this is something you were going to want to highlight day in and day out. Well, it's a real issue for so many Victorians. I mean, we've got the triple zero crisis, ambulance ramping, people not getting their elective surgery, yet we don't have that same... A visible presence on our ambulances as what happened in the South Australian election. But really here in Victoria, it is really critical. And it's, it's a huge issue for Victorians. It's on everybody's mind. Every Victorian is really concerned about the health crisis. What's the resolution then? What do you take to the election to fix this? Well, we've got to have greater visibility. We've got to understand what the real problems are. I'm saying that we've got to understand the problems to get those solutions. But, of course, it is longer-term sustained funding. We've got to be able to, to look at the retention of staff, looking at how we do recruit staff, because they are leaving. Senior clinicians are leaving. Nurses are leaving. We really need to, you know, look at those issues. But, again, it's, it's really understanding the full crux of the issues and we're not getting that visibility by the Andrews government.